So we got our tickets. Yep. Tickets to the Biltmore. But fifty-five dollars a piece. But this gives you more than just the entrance to the. Yeah, it's a whole day. It, it's experience. a whole day experience, so it's it's well worth it. Waiting in line here. Beautiful day. All right, we're waiting to, to park here at the Biltmore. So pretty excited about it. We're actually gonna share this experience with my family. Get my mom and dad, my sister, and my brother-in-law, Tommy, here in uh, separate vehicles. So that'll be fun. Um, we try to get together at least once a year, someplace around the United States. And uh, man, it looks like we have a beautiful day at the Biltmore. And we've been here before, but never really made a good movie on it or film. So I want to kind of show you what it's like right now. And hopefully you can plan a trip here if you haven't been here already. Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Rach. For years now, we've enjoyed traveling the world together near and far. Whether it's creating lifelong memories, diving into distant cultures of the world, or just satisfying our craving to go somewhere new. We invite you to come along to experience life's journey with us. All right, are you excited for the Biltmore, Mom? I am Mom? so excited. Yes, I am. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, Better Rachel's excited. Dad, you ready to check Absolutely. out the Biltmore? Absolutely. You're going to give us some history about George Vanderbilt? George Vanderbilt, he was a rich guy. <laughs> he had a lot of money. He, um, That's interesting. He was a bachelor. When you see the size of this estate, you can't believe it was for a bachelor until he finally got married. Yeah. Yeah, had one of the first. Well, this is America's largest private home. It was. All right. Well, so we parked here, and we're going to you know, walk. Yeah. There's a little trail that takes you down to the property. All right. Got to so. give yourself enough time, that's for sure. Before. Yeah, it was about 10 minutes coming in. Yeah. Oh, at, at least. least. Yeah. At least. Yeah, yeah maybe 15, 20. Yep. And then by the time you walk out. Rhett and Scarlett. Say what's up, Tommy. <laughs> what's up? Oh, oh, wow. Wait a minute. Am I camera ready? <laughs> okay. Mary Beth. Hey! Orderly to be camera ready. Excited to go to the Biltmore. <laughs> Let's do it. Instead of hopping on the parking lot shuttle, take the five minute walk to the front gate. The first thing you will want to do is head up the ramp to the overlook. This is where you're going to get those great Instagram pics and family photo shots. We arrived early for our tour, so we decided to grab some lunch first. Yeah, grabbing lunch at the old horse stable. Yeah, we're eating uh, lunch today in the horse stables. Uh, it's very nice how they've done it up. It's, uh, you go in, it has the original atmosphere about it. You eat in the actual stables. Uh, yeah, great place to go for lunch. Yeah, awesome. Chick-fil-A like, squeeze all over me. When you open it, I'll have my mask on. Dad, you gotta do the dip side. Yeah. Mary Beth got the barbecue. Yeah. Uh, that's the one that got me was the dip side. We got a lot of barbecue stuff on the menu here. We'll let the girls Went with the muscle and chicken. Also in the stables are other gift shops you can wander through and even an outdoor food market with some quick and less expensive options. How, how was lunch? Lunch was great. Yeah? Really great, yep. Sweet tea was amazing. the Stable Cafe. And Tommy with it. Sweet tea, I give it a B, a B plus. Could have been a little sweeter, but I'll take it. The only one here with a southern accent is getting the sweet tea, right? Yeah, sweet tea. 
If you have some time before your tour starts, be sure to walk around the outdoor terraces and take in the views. George Vanderbilt purchased 125,000 acres of this land back in 1888. After six years of construction, this French-style chateau was complete. Hey, yeah. How long is it? Hour 20. How you doing, guys? Hi. You Keep doing? these out. You'll be scanning okay. the barcodes as you go through the door today. If you decide you want audio once you're inside, they're selling them at the front desk. Okay. okay. Thank you're you. headed up here. Thank guys, you. Guys, you were back and forth until you're six feet behind the people in front. All right. Thanks. The glass roof winter garden is the first thing you see when you enter the house. Cool tables from 1895. That's what it says. Custom oak billiard tables were made in 1895. The banquet hall is by far my favorite room. This is where the Vanderbilt guests enjoyed 10 course dinners with the world's finest wines. As you can see, George didn't spare any expense when building this magnificent structure. All 250 rooms contain nothing but fine woodwork, detail, and elegant furnishings. This painting is of Frederick Law Olmsted. He designed the gardens around the property and also designed New York City's Central Park. Another amazing feature of the home is the grand staircase. George's widow, Cornelia, remarried in 1925 and then spent weeks painting these walls in the basement for a New Year's Eve party. I mean, even in today's world, having your own basement bowling alley and indoor pool would be nothing short of absolutely insane. Walking through the kitchen areas really reminds me of Downton Abbey. In fact, this entire state reminds me of Downton Abbey.
What do you think, right? It's a pretty neat house. It is cool. Okay. Even going through it a second time is always neat. Yeah, I mean, you're always going to see something new every time you go in. Yeah. A walking tour of the gardens and grounds should be next on your itinerary list. And if you're visiting before September of this year, you're not going to want to miss this. Located in the Garden Conservatory is an unbelievable model train setup. pretty cool. Mm -hmm. That was very cool. What'd you think of the train, Mary Beth? You know what? Really cool. Yeah? I enjoyed the trains, yes. That's definitely worth the, what, 15 minute wait? I I'd like that in my backyard. Yeah. Maybe, I, I loved it. It was, it was a long wait. Like that. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> <laughs> Want to get on the lake? Yeah. A little farther down, you can continue your walk through even more gardens onward to the bass pond.
should go to for a tree house. Yeah, so you could climb that. Yes, it's tall ponds. You could climb a tree. Nice tree house. Hold down. Hold down. Oh, that was that was a good walk. Very good walk. Yeah, it was. Eventually, you'll end up back at the main estate entrance. Right, so we just finished up over at the house and gardens, which was awesome. And in addition to making a visit to the Biltmore State, you want to go to the Antler Village as well. You can do um, you can do a wine tasting, which we've done before. I don't think we're going to have time to do it today. There's also some shops. Maybe some of those shops. I heard a lot has changed since the, since the last time we were there, seven years ago. There's also the, the Biltmore Hotel, uh, which I haven't been into. It's, uh, it's supposed to be pretty awesome, but that's over here as well at the Antler Village. So you just kind of drive through the grounds and you eventually make your way there. I can't think of a better way to cap off the afternoon than a cold pint from Cedric's Tavern. That was uh, that was the Biltmore. We didn't go into the wine tasting. We've done it before. We're actually heading to an Airbnb that we rented, and uh, be on the lookout for an upcoming video on just some other cool things to do in Asheville. So, peace out. Take care. Until next time.